This is Hawaii yeah. News Now Sunrise. Hey guys, we're up in the kitchen because we have a very exciting event. It's the oldest wine and food festival in the country set to return. Yeah, the 43rd annual event at Kapolua takes place in June. Hua Momona Farms chef Zach Laidlaw is with us and also master sommelier Michael Jordan joins yeah. us. Yeah, different Michael Jordan than we thought, but that's okay. We're excited <laughs> to have you. I'm thrilled to be here. But, but you're affiliated with the NBA. Well, we'll talk about that coming up in just a little bit, but uh, you just got in, literally got off the plane here into the studio, right? I did, from Maui. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Glad we were on time. Yeah, me too. <laughs> All right, Chef, I know you are going to be cooking up some dishes at the festival. Why don't you go ahead and show us what we have here and tell us what we can expect at the festival. Absolutely. So here is a uh, variety of beetroot, basically. So this is, I'll be doing a preparation like this at the Grand Gala Saturday, June 8th. Um, so this is a sous vide beets with a beetroot sponge. I have a little bit of uh, buttermilk and dill dressing to accompany it. Ooh. Very light, very fresh. Mm. And we were talking earlier about how there's been so many different chefs who are willing to come and they want to come this year because of what they had heard about the fires. Who are we expecting? Absolutely. We're going to have some of the best chefs on Maui all come together and we're going to make this happen. This is the year to attend to Kapalua Wine Food Festival. People want to give back and donate. This is the perfect opportunity to do so. This is going to be one not to miss. <laughs> okay. And we have Chef Manit Chawan come in as well as Charlie Palmer. So. Uh, they're visiting chefs with, with the team from Maui as well. It's just going to be a real community effort. Yeah, a lot of big names. Okay, let's talk about the wines for a couple of moments. Is there anything new that's going to be? And, and give us an idea of what we can expect. Well, it's very exciting because we, we have winemaker panels, and then we have the big grand tasting where you can walk around and taste wines from all over the world, all over the globe, internationally, uh, France, Italy, uh, all over the United States, uh, Oregon, California, Australia, you name it, the uh, wines will be there from these fantastic places. And of course, we're going to have uh, Kendall Jackson, which just made a deal with the NBA as the wine for the NBA. And La Crema is the wine of the WNBA, and that's going to be for the next four years. We're so excited. Wow. That's amazing. And, and so to have them here, and, and I know that CBS is going to come and interview you. We actually got you before they did. So I was like, yay, <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, so I actually have been to this festival. It's such a beautiful event. Do you want to describe it for people who may not have been able to go before? It's a gorgeous event. It's held at the Ritz-Carlton Kapalua in Maui. Um, beautiful, beautiful venue. We have a great partnership with them as well. It's in their pavilion. It, it, Fits a lot of people. It's just, <laughs> it's just a beautiful place. Yeah, and in the meantime, you guys have actually been giving back a lot to the community as well, and this will also help with that. Yeah, Huamomona Foundation. Uh, we we've done about thirty-two thousand uh, hot meals to feed Lahaina's displaced right now, and we are currently doing that. So still today, we're doing about nine hundred weekly, which uh, the team's doing an amazing job, and we couldn't be more happier with them. Nine hundred meals a week. Yep. Yeah, that's amazing. And uh, the festival will donate to local Maui charities as well. And of course, uh, you know, folks on Maui and Lahaina, they're gonna need love for a long time. Yeah. So we were very happy that the festival came as, as far after the fires as it is now, because we're rejuvenating the efforts and the support from the continent. Mm -hmm. Folks are really excited about coming here and participating and donating. It's, it's really, well, this is also, it was the top rated voted USA Today festival in the country. I can see why. I just wanted to ask, we only have a few seconds left, but to ask for anyone out there who feels like, I don't know, should I go to West Maui because of all that's going on there? Yes. What do you want to yeah. say to them? <laughs> Come. They need you. <laughs> yes. We want to, we're going to delight and dazzle our guests. It's going to be really exciting and fun. It's always a great intimate event where you mix and mingle with the chefs and the winemakers. It's not like, well, you're just sitting there and they're, you know, up on the stage behind the curtain. Uh, it, it's an intimate event that under coconut trees. It's one of the greatest wine festivals in the world. I can say that because I've been to many of them and this is the one. <laughs> All right, just a reminder here, Zach, you can catch him on Next Level Chef. He's in the middle of that. Gentlemen, thank you very much for being here. Just a reminder, 43rd Annual Wine and Food Festival. It's coming up June 8th on Maui, but if you want more details, we'll put that on our website at hawaiinewsnow.com. You can get tickets now, and I think, Billy, maybe Sunrise should go on, on the road. road. Go check it out ourselves. <laughs> right, guy? I got wine for you. Okay. <laughs> we're in. We're in. Thanks, guys, for being here today. Thank you. Appreciate it having us. Thank Hi. you.
It was wonderful to see Chef Zach. He was there for the century. And remember, uh, that's a festival, so it lasts for several days with all kinds of wine symposiums and stuff like that. Now, hopefully, they get some dry weather for it. We do have some dry spots around the state, including the interior of Hawaii Island, the west side of Maui, and then uh, our leeward side. And this will likely be changed, right, because of all the rainfall that's coming in to Kauai and Oahu. Remember, it's a first alert weather day for Kauai. We've got some decent, uh, you know, some near severe weather here on Oahu as well, which has contributed to those power outages. The weather's going to ease up, going to dry up significantly by tomorrow. That's only a temporary thing because that front's going to come roaring through the state again. Sunday and Monday, we'll see some very wet conditions. In fact, we've called for a first alert weather day for Kauai and Oahu on Sunday again. So uh, be careful for the next few days, uh, especially if you live in a flood-prone area. Now let's check on traffic. Lacey, what are you looking at? Guy, a few moments ago, I got an update from the Department of Transportation on Kuhio Highway near the Hanalei Bridge. They tell me that the water has, the flooding has subsided, but there's a down pole that's still blocking the roadway. So Kuhio at Hanalei Bridge, that remains blocked off. I'm told KIUC, they are responding. In addition to that, we still have a closure on a section of Kuhio near the Wailua River Bridge. The southbound lanes closed, northbound though, two-way traffic pattern in place. That's your first alert traffic sunrise coming up after this. This is Hawaii News Now Sunrise. 
we want to wish a happy birthday to Doris Kurisu. Hey, happy, happy birthday! birthday! Lilani woman turned 104 yesterday. Wow. Kurisu wow. was actually born in Wahiwa back in 1920. She has six grandchildren, wow. seven great grandchildren, wow. and four great great grandchildren. Wow. Her key to longevity lots of vegetables and chicken, but occasionally Kurisu likes to indulge with vanilla ice cream and microwavable Philly cheesesteaks. <laughs> I'm with you. She 